Every skill you acquire doubles your odds of success. Scott Adams Number 10. Discipline We've all had impulses that we have had to tame to save money for the future. Some have tamed their urges and are now smiling all the way to riches while others are still struggling. Self-discipline allows you to make good investment decisions, which helps you become financially free. For example, if you go shopping, having a budget helps you exercise discipline because you won't spend more money than you have to. If you buy all the snacks you can carry and have gone there to buy bug spray, you have no financial discipline. Hence, you can't save money because you're more focused on instant gratification than thinking about your future. Having discipline is one way to help you improve your finances. When you have discipline, you think of your financial security before those Fendi heels you've been drooling for. You can buy those heels when you don't have to worry about how much interest your credit card will be charged at the end of your billing cycle. Number 9. Maintaining Focus Merriam-Webster defines focus as a center of activity, attraction, or attention. With modern technology and new trends coming up every waking hour, many people find themselves caught up in so many distractions that they can't focus on one thing. This slows their progress or halts it completely. For example, you may be doing something worthwhile on your phone that'll bring you some money. Then you get a notification that the lives of your Candy Crush game are full. You stop doing the important thing and click on the game. After all, there are only five lives and the level you're at is the nightmarishly hard level. So you know that you'll use them up in less than 15 minutes, right? But because the divine forces are on your side, you win the level, so you continue to play the game, and voila! Candy Crush steals your focus from your money-making project. Being focused means staying away from distractions to work towards achieving your goals by muting all notifications or switching your phone off. Focusing helps you make informed decisions that shape your future, which helps you achieve wealth. What did you do today that will impact your financial future? We'll tell you one thing you did right, watching this video. Sit down and record everything you did today that will help you shape your tomorrow. If your page is still blank after 15 minutes, it's time to evaluate what's more important in your life. Is it instant gratification or financial independence? Reflect on that. Number 8. Marketing Skills Marketing is the promotion of goods and services to attract clients and make some money. You've seen billboards with flashy images and catchy and sometimes ridiculously hilarious slogans meant to entice clients to purchase the product or service offered. If you think we're lying, here is one hilarious slogan from the Four Loco beverage. We forgot the slogan, cause we blacked out. Marketing can get you rich, as long as you can promote your product and convince people why they should buy your product and not any other brand. You'll be able to make good sales and achieve financial freedom. Negotiating skills are a must-have if you want to get rich. And just to put it out there, as a marketer, your job is to service the customer and negotiate the prices while selling is turning those products into money. Both of these skills are important if you want to get rich. And don't you forget that. Number 7. Plan for the long haul If you are not where you want to be financially, you're playing the right now game. And while that is helping you put the food on the table and provide shelter, the question is... Is it enough? What you've done until this moment has been for your immediate future. But to build wealth and live a financially abundant life, you have to plan for the long haul. For example, you're watching the interview with a vampire series because it's pulling at your heartstrings and snapping them all at the same time. Or eating junk food because it's the weekend and you just feel like it. While there's nothing wrong with that, this is your right now. And just like you plan for the weekend, Planning for the long haul is a skill you have to learn if you wish to become rich, and it goes hand in hand with discipline and focus. Say you're planning to have $1 million invested in the next 10 years. This means that you have to plan to invest $100,000 a year, and if you break it down further, $8,333 a month. This is a long-term goal, and if you maintain discipline and focus, you'll do it. As we have said plenty of times, building wealth takes time. And planning for the long haul is one way to definitely get rich. Number 6. Reading Let us ask you a question. How many books have you read this month? Did you know that Bill Gates reads over 50 books a year? That's roughly 4 books a month. We know what you're thinking. Why would a Microsoft legend bother to read? This is because he knows the benefits of learning new things. In fact, here is one of his many famous quotes on reading. 
Reading is still the main way that I both learn new things and test my understanding. Educating yourself is one way to get rich because when you use the skills or apply the tips you've learned, you improve the quality of your finances and ultimately your life. For instance, if you read about investing, you'll learn the pros and cons of investing in certain stocks, which helps you make an informed decision when you put your money into stocks. Be an avid reader and you'll start building wealth. We're not saying that you should read every book you come across. Choose the books that bring value to your financial and general well-being. But you can also pick up the Hansel and Gretel book once in a while to remind yourself about your childhood, though we doubt it will help you make your life better than where you are right now. So, what book are you reading today? Number 5. Learn to Make Sacrifices Without making sacrifices, we promise you that you'll never move forward. If you do what you want, when you want, with whoever you want, you'll be stuck in the same place and will never make anything of yourself. But when you make sacrifices, things start changing for the better. For example, if you don't like to cook, we bet you have Wendy's number on speed dial, right? You know that in half an hour, you'll have food on your table, but did you know that you spend more money eating junk food than you would if you had cooked at home? You also ruin your health, which costs you more money to treat. Also, other leisure activities such as traveling can be great to unwind, but regular trips can cost you a lot of money and may land you into debt. Sacrificing those travels can get you to a place where you're able to save money and acquire wealth. We always say that just because you want something doesn't mean you should have it. Sacrificing temporary pleasures for a secure financial future is greater than the instant gratification that will force you to stay in the same old place and not move forward, don't you think? Number 4. Self-Motivation Here is one thing that many people don't think about, but it is true. No one can motivate you more than yourself. It doesn't matter if you have the most supportive spouse or not. If you don't motivate yourself, you'll never make changes, and even your significant other may give up at some point. After all, no one likes to feel like they're fighting for nothing, right? Cheer yourself on and believe that you can do it, and we promise you, you will. For instance, if you start a YouTube channel, it's easy to give up during the first months because you might find that you've made 10 subscribers in 6 months, which wasn't your expectation. But if you have great ideas, giving up will not get you to your goal. You'll end up giving up and not achieving what you've worked for. Therefore, motivating yourself will help you work harder. Motivating yourself allows you to keep grinding even when you don't feel like you're making any progress. Remember that progress is a milestone you acquire over time and self-motivation keeps you going. Let's say you're in a race. How does it feel when people are cheering you on? Feels great, right? This means that they believe in your abilities and it makes you want to work harder and finish your race. Now, imagine how it'd feel if you were your own cheerleader. You'd soar and reach great heights, which is what self-motivation does. It makes you work harder and helps you acquire your wealth. All of that because you didn't give up. Number 3. Learn to Sell Since you were born, you've been selling something, trust us. Whether it was your cries that made mama know you were hungry, or your current job where you're selling real estate. Since the Stone Age, selling has been a part of people's lives and has grown with the times, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. According to R.L. Stevenson, a celebrated author of the 19th century, everyone lives by selling something, and it still rings true to this day. Even when you invest, you are selling your money, and the main purpose of selling is to get a profit, which helps your investment to double, allowing you to build wealth. If you want to be rich, selling has to be an integral part of your everyday life. This is because you have to convince your clients that whatever you're selling is worth their money or time, or both. And the more you sell, the more experience you gain, and the better you get. This means that if you're good at convincing people, you never stop selling. Hence, you'll never stop making the money. Number 2. Buy Time Ask any wealthy person and they'll tell you that one of the things they value in their lives is time. Time is money. When you buy time, you make more money, which means you can buy more time to make more money. We're not trying to invent tongue twisters, but buying time, in this case, means outsourcing services to help you manage your business while you do other things like selling your services to more potential clients to bring in the money. For example, if you're a financial advisor, your job is to help companies or individuals to manage their money. Included in this job are market research, 
identifying new opportunities for a company's growth, and market analysis, among others. If you do this all by yourself, you never get enough time to do all that and sell your services to other clients. Not to mention, you'd suffer burnout, which would make your job feel like a burden. But if you outsource services, none of your business departments will suffer, and you'll be in a position to grow financially and become rich. Yes, by buying time, we mean employing people to spend that time on your behalf, working on things you'd have had to work on, and paying them for their services. This makes your clock easier to manage and helps you branch out further than you would if you were working as a Lone Ranger. After all, you only get so many hours in a day, right? Before we get into number one, make sure to check out the links in the description for our best recommendations to boost your savings. Number one, money management. Nothing is more important than knowing how to manage your money. You can earn all the money in the world, but if you can't manage it, you might as well be flushing it down the toilet because it's not going to help you live a life of financial freedom. For example, if you close a $200,000 deal, then run to the dealership to get yourself a 621 horsepower Mercedes Maybach S. We apologize for being so forthright, but that's a dumb money management skill. This is because you haven't put into consideration other charges that come with purchasing a car, such as insurance, and have to dig deep into your pocket to get more money. If you have no money, you have to use your credit card, which is equivalent to financial demise. To be rich, money management skill is a requirement you need to have. It helps you know when and where to spend and invest money to help you create wealth and live a life of financial freedom and security. After all, why become a millionaire wannabe when you can manage your money and become a real millionaire? Make sure to check out the next video. You're going to get a ton of value from this one. See you there.